What's going on everyone? Juice Bags here, and welcome back to some Dungeon Defenders 2. I am here on floor number 490, and I wanted to mix it up a little bit this time. I do want to use the OG heroes, however, you just can't live without some snakes in your life. So, I'm bringing in some snakes, and I'm going to actively DPS on the Mystic. Now, I've got just that hero damage. Uh, Shadow Flame Knife mixed Mystic build set up. It's not uh, extremely powerful. However, it does have some really strong CC. And plus, by playing active on the Mystic, I'm going to be able to give her snakes a little bit more damage. So let's take a look and see what we've got here. We've got Stabby Kamikazes with Armored over here. Uh, Psy level Womps, so Headstrong. And Cyborgs in that lane. We got Omega Squad Alpha, Unstoppable and Headstrong, so can't be slowed or stunned. We got the EMP Zappity Zaps uh, Armored, which is actually going to help us out there. And then we got Timmy's Revenge over here. Pilot on. Hmm. That is interesting. I'm wondering if this bum mod, Fiery Fangs, will actually affect Pilot on. I mean, we'll have to check it out and see. Uh, I probably won't be able to tell on this particular map, but that would be something interesting to check out for sure. Now, let's just go ahead and start off with our flyer control. So, we know we got stab Stabby Kamikazes here. Let's go ahead and go with uh, one Flamer up in the flower pot here, because, you know, that is what flower pots are designed for these days. And yeah, let's get another one on top of that light post. Uh, now, as you see, that both of... Both of those R's will hit the kamikazes when they're coming out. And then we got Psy Lava Wompity Womps right here. Kind of, what do we want to do? Okay, we got a Headstrong there. I think what we're going to do is go... Let's get a Slow in there. So we're going to go with a Flame, a Lightning, and a Boost Aura. Now, running through the defenses real quick, I'm not really sure what all I am going to use, but I will probably use a Frostbite with Frosty Bind, Frosty Power, Deadly Strikes. Uh, the mod selection on here is not fantastic. Uh, just something that was thrown together. Definitely not something you would want to shoot for in any means. Uh, I could potentially use an Earth Shatter as well. Of course, Earth Shatter, I'm using that Tester Relic. So, in incorrect mods here as well. Uh, not what you want to put on your Earth Shatter Towers. However, I am using Earth Toss, Defense Rate, and Destruction. Uh, we're going to bring along the Squire. Uh, potentially Cannonballs, Destruction, Heavy Cannonball, Deadly Strikes with Piercer, Defense Rate, and Anti-Melee. And possibly a Blister to Anti-Melee, Piercer, Anti-Orc with Defense Rate, Splody, and Destruction. And then we're going to use the usual Aura setups, Double Stack and Mass on the Flame Auras. Uh, boost Aura, main thing here is Boosted Grasp. The rest of the stuff doesn't even matter that much in the Boost Aura, as long as you have Boosted Grasp and some decent range. Uh, Sky Guards, I don't think we're going to use, and a Lightning Strike Aura just to hold that Destructive Pylon. We'll definitely be using that one. Now, let's see, what do we want to do here? Okay, Psy Level Womps, they're headstrong. And we do have a Kamikaze, two Kamikazes up there, actually. So, I mean, I'm pretty darn tempted to go with, like, a Ballista there, and then maybe a Cannon there, but I am worried that that Kamikaze is going to hit it. We'll have to see how that goes. Let's see, can I get a Snake on top of this Light Post? Because, you know, once again, Snakes belong on Light Posts. Let's go like that. That will help the lane and the Flyers. And then let's see what we've got here. We've got EMP Zaps. They're armored. So let's go with uh, Flame, Lightning Strike, Flame to get a little of upfront damage there. Uh, let's see. This is that Omega Squad Alpha. Now, no Cyborgs here, though. So even though these are some meanie meanies, they're going to be pretty easy to deal with. I'm not going to bother with the Boost Aura since they can't be slowed. Let's just go with two flames and a lightning strike for that destructive. And then we got Timmy over here. Pilot on. Let's see. Let's go the usual trifecta. Now, frost mobs, of course, are immune to slow as well. So it's kind of pointless for me to put a boost star over here. However, 
that's only 54 mobs out of the entire pack, so I'm going to do it anyway, as the rest of the mobs will indeed get slowed. And that's going to leave, what, 250 left? Which is enough for eight snakes. Yes, we are getting snaky. Let's see, let's go snake, snake, and snake. You know what, let's boost them too. We'll throw a uh, lightning strike there for a little boost, and then, you know, let's go snake, snake, and uh, more snake once again. Now, remember the snakes, the mean downside with the snakes. Actually, we can get four snakes here. Hmm, I'm tempted to put another one over this side then. You know what, let's just throw... Let's throw one up top there. Now the thing with the snakes, only one beam can hit one mob. Meaning, like right here, I've got three snakes. Uh, all my snakes, I don't think I showed those, did I? Uh, my snakes, I'm using Deadly Strikes Destruction and Split Vipers now. I've got this trash mod Fiery Fangs on here. I just have been too stubborn. That used to be the Venomous Vipers mod. Now, of course, it's changed to Fiery Fangs. It's complete junk. I should just throw it away, but I'm being too stubborn not to, and it's still on there. Now, I'm not really counting on that mod doing much of anything, really, but it's there. Now, anyway, like I was saying, we've got three projectiles from each snake because of Split Vipers. Now, that means we've got nine total beams shooting out from these towers. If there's one mob right here, only one of those nine beams is going to hit a mob. As more than one beam cannot hit one, one mob at a time. And that really, really kind of smacks the snakes down, for lack of better words. It's quite the hurting it puts on them, there's no doubt there. Now we've got 300 left. Let's go ahead and upgrade all of the flyer hotness. So let's get those three out. Let's get these two up. And, you know, with the rest, let's throw it on that ballista. Why not? All right, let's check it out and see how wave one goes. As always, it's all about surviving wave one. If you can survive wave one, your chances of surviving the entire map are really, really strong. As, you know, once you get, if you can survive through Wave 1, then you're going to get those upgrades in place, and it's just going to make an entirely different run for you. Lady Orcs, getting all berserky like they tend to do over there. We are wrecking it up over here. Oh, man. Let's go ahead, and this lane actually seems like it is probably going to need a little bit of help, so let's get a little Call to Madness going there. You see my Flame Aura, Lightning Strike, and Boost Aura all got bored. Alright, here come the Flyers! Oof. Wow. That Flyer was in mid-dive bomb animation, ready to wreck it up. Now, I say that about surviving Wave 1, however, one thing that Wave 1 doesn't have is bosses. Wow, man. The Lava Guardians are just mean. Mean, I tell you. Alright, so we got 792 to spend. Let's get all this stuff upped. Let's get this Flyer Defense upped one more time. We'll get that one and that one. Let's do the same thing over here. We'll hit both of those Flame Arrows and... Let's see, let's just hit the rest of this stuff. We got enough for three more ups, right into those snakes, and GG it is. Now let's see, what do we got for a boss? We've got a Siege Roller coming, and oh man, the Mystic just stinks with a Siege Roller. There's no doubt there. I am tempted to throw down an Obelisk. Do I have my Obelisk set up? I do. Alright, we're doing it. Let me get rid of the Ballista. Sorry, Ballista. You're out. I'm going to throw an Obelisk right here. Now, what the Obelisk is going to do is it's going to give me a little something I can throw behind that Siege Roller when it comes out. Plus, it's giving me a little bit of Dive Bomb protection. Actually, there's no EMP there, so the Kamikazes may or may not go after it. 
All right, let's see what we can do. I am not super optimistic now. I really wish I could have this obelisk all the way up to tier five before that siege roller comes out, but that's just not even remotely realistic. Call the madness going. How are we holding up here? We're looking good. We get the Frostfire proccing over here. It will definitely help things out quite a bit. Let's get some Frostfire proccing in this lane as well. And we're still running over here, which is kind of nice. Get another Call to Mattis on that lane. And it's going to be all about killing the Siege Roller here. Now, I do have a lot of towers around. There's towers everywhere. So I don't want... I don't want my towers getting blown up by roller rockets. So I'm going to do my best to stay out here. Let's get one more up on that snake. Now what I plan on doing with that snake... Is dropping him right behind the siege roller. Oof. Mystic down. Sorry, girl. It was a little rough. <laughs> Let's see. Lava Guardian's just about there. Alright, is the roller out yet? Alright, let's get clear of all the defenses here. Sand Viper destroyed. What the heck? Hmm. I don't even know what could have killed that one. Unless it was a roller rocket that was mid-air. Now we're going to come behind it. We're going to drop our obelisk that's been upgraded right there. And that should give me a little bit of help. It's not huge, but it is going to give me enough to get through this siege roller, hopefully. Let's see, a little call to Manus there will help. Yeah, let's go ahead and move the obelisk up a little. We'll drop it right there, let it continue to do its thing. It's not pretty, but when you get it stuck in your mind that you're going to stay on your mystic, that's one way to get it done. All right, let's move our obelisk back over here to safety. Well, let's go ahead and throw an upgrade on it. Now, I've got snakes to rebuild, right? We got, uh, what? We had snake here. Was it a flyer or was it a roller rocket? I'm not even sure, to be honest with you. And I lost 20 somewhere. Or was that, that was from the obelisk. I'll tell you what I can do. Let's throw another lightning strike here and we'll get that obelisk just close enough where it's getting, uh, it's getting that destructive pylon, you know? Might as well buff it up. Let's see, let's throw it over there for a minute and then we'll move it back over here. That should be close enough to get it. Let's check it out. It is indeed getting buffed. All right, now let's get that bad boy all the way up to tier five now and let it just wreck some faces. We got a Slakelion or some kind of skeleton coming out this time, which shouldn't be near as much of a problem. All right, let's just let it fly here. I'm gonna start it off by trying to get the Frostfire going right here again. Yeah, there we go. We got it popped before they even made it out, which is kind of nice. And then that will free up a little bit of time for these other lanes. This lane actually seems like it's getting pushed harder than anything else. Now, I did... The R placement here is terrible, as I put them all right in a line. Flame, lightning, boost. Which means one cyborg shot will take out all three. Which, that is definitely not smart placement there by any means, but I thought I was going to be able to just power through and get away with it. And I still might. It's not over yet. Let's see, we got a Lava Guardian coming out. We got Slakelion making the turn in the middle lane. I'm more concerned, to be honest with you, with this Lava Guardian, I think. Lava Guardians are just mean. I keep throwing the Dark Torment there to get multiple snakes attacking it, in case you all are curious. Uh, being a hero damage hero, I don't really get a huge benefit from using any of the abilities other than Call to Madness on the Mystic. 
However, one of the hidden benefits of Dark Torment is it will make all of your snakes target that target. So that is the only time where more than one snake beam can hit a single target. So I'm going to take advantage of that for sure. Let's see. I think this still qualifies with OG plus snakes. That's very snaky. Don't you guys agree? It's not what I was originally going for, but I mean, it doesn't get any more snaky than an obelisk. I mean, that right there is a big ass snake. There's no doubt about it. All right, let's get uh, a round of ups going here. At this point, I think I'm just going to spray them around evenly. Just to make sure, you know, make sure everything's got a little bit of juice. And let's do it again. Let's uh, let's get this lane CC'd up as soon as possible. Come on out. A little call to madness. Let's get that Frostfire proc in. We are good, and we're able to leave it alone. Now, I forgot about Slakelion. I actually got a little bit of benefit there from, uh, from a Petrify that I didn't even intend to use. Oh man, I am in deep, deep trouble here for the last wave with Slakelion. I completely forgot about Slakelion. Luckily, he's snaked right now. Oh, it's over. There's just no way. I mean, even if I can can kill him this wave, there's just no way I'm going to be able to get him next wave. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Oh, oh, oh wow. Oh, that is so stupid close right there. Holy crap. Jeez, this got ugly real quick. Oh, man. It's pretty. There is laser beam snaky action going everywhere. But oh my god, did this get ugly. So I'm going to have to rebuild for Slakelion, and I'm going to have to pray that I'm able to turn him around. If he pops out and instantly takes a shot at the core, then it's GG for me in wave 5. And, you know, that of course is crushing all of my hopes and dreams. <laughs> let's see, let's get our obelisk work in here. Keep it healthy anyway. These roller rockets are putting a big old beat down on it. Get some melee shots going on this guy as well. Looks like I'm about just about ready to move it up again. Right there. Uh-oh. That's trouble right there. That could be my sub-objective down. Go, go, go! Little obelisk! Oh, man. This is rough. Oh, wow. Look at how close that was. Whew. All right. Now, I'm not even close to being out of trouble quite yet. Because, of course, we know we got a Slakelion right there, which I, I'm certain this is going to be a face roll, right? Let's do this. Let's uh, let's put the obelisk right here, face towards Slakelion. Ah, I'm half tempted to just turn one of these snakes. Let's just do it. Let's turn. Let's turn a snake back this way. Get that bad boy full up. Throw some more ups around. Now, what else do we have coming here now? We've got a cannon ogre, which won't be any fun. We've got Thork over here, which won't be any fun either. But to be honest with you, none of that's going to matter if Sakelion doesn't die. So what I'm going to do is wait to hit G until I get a uh, obelisk buff that's brand new and fresh on me. And I'm going to do my best to get this guy going. There it is. Don't swing! Don't swing! Mmm, and it's over. No, we got an electrocute! We got a petrify! Oh, and there it was. Failure due to not paying attention to Slick Kelly Arm. Now, we do have replay from Wave. It's Wave 5. Now, replaying from Wave is kind of extra cheesy with Slick Kelly Arm. Because Slakelion's not going to be there. But I'm going to go ahead and replay just to get this floor finished. 
All right, so let's see what we've got for this final wave. We've got a captain. We've got a cannon ogre. And we've got a siege roller. Oh man, this is going to be ugly. Now the captain is going to sprint. So I feel like I need to be working on the captain first. So I think what I'll do is start the lane over here. And then I'll run over to that captain uh, right after I get Frostfire Procket in this lane. So let's go ahead and wait for a, an obelisk buff here. Come on, you can do it, obelisk. There we go. We'll start the wave right away. And this is going to give me that extra power that will allow me to get a Frostfire proc in back here in the spawn to really get that lane just a, a huge, huge uh, jump forward in effectiveness there in that lane. And now I'm going to chillax over here and wait for the captain. Now, the cyborgs are just doing their thing. I should have moved these auras, but, you know, I'm going to try to just power through it here. Keep that call to madness going. I'll probably have a few um, assassin-related deaths, but the Frostfire does help quite a bit with the assassins as well. That was a berserker making the turn in the middle lane. Definitely just watching the mini-map here as I'm kind of secluded, secluded myself over here to this lane. So it, this is all about getting the captain down. Captain must die very, very quickly. You know what? We can start a fight. There we go. Let's start a fight. Let's see if we can't get this cannon ogre down. Die, cannon ogre! All right, cannon ogre is down. The captain is making his way out now. He's actually... Yeah, he's made the turn already. So let's bring the captain back this way. Get a little Dark Torment going on it. And there we go. GG for the captain. Alright, and then nothing left but the Siege Roller. And we know the routine there. Obelisk up the butt. Let's start it off right there. Let's get a repair on this Obelisk, though. I don't want that Obelisk dying before I'm able to get the job done here. We'll get the Call of Madness just to get the damage buff going on them. And then... Just kind of melee it out here. I'm going to do a little bit more damage melee than I will as ranged. And since it's the only target left, I'm just going to melee it out until the roller is down. So, the moral of the story is don't ignore the damn Slakelion, jeez! But that was a look at 490 OG plus snakes. So we had a little fun with the original heroes, plus got a little snaky in the mix. Oh, you know what? I actually left the Huntress out. No Huntress in this one, so it's almost OG plus snakes. Oh, no Apprentice either? What? Good lord, I didn't... Huh. We'll have to rename this one RS plus snakes, maybe. I don't think it qualifies with calling it original heroes plus snakes. But anyway, that will get it for now. Thank you all an absolute ton for watching. Make sure to click that like button and please subscribe. And I will be back soon with more Dungeon Defenders 2. And I've got something special planned for floor number 500. Assuming I ever get off my butt and make it there. So thank you all once again. And I will see you next time around. Take it easy.